As mentioned at the end of a previous video, I'm going to today try and save this base unit before it collapses. The first thing I'm going to do is to isolate the water supply. I'm also going to drain the water stored in the storage tank to reduce the weight load on the bottom shelf. This will not be wasted because, as you can see to my left, there's a lot of washing up still to do. And that's not looking very pretty underneath. Cowboy Builders and their calling card. So my big idea is to take some blocks of wood like this with a coach bolt fixed through and then by loosening this nut here I should be able to raise this block, effectively restoring the height of the fallen shelf. To make these blocks then, starting off with a counterboard hole, I'll accept this coach bolt head. Then I can extend that hole, taking it right through the timber. slightly larger diameter drill bit I can drill straight through the edge of the other pieces and to secure that bowl to have a flat washer a spring washer and then this nut will bite down on top of that. Then in reverse order we have the nut followed by a spring washer then a plain washer and the block will sit on top of there. Every so often I'll raise the centre one, take the bulk of the weight. As I do is I'll gradually switch over and raise this one which is directly below, below the water heater. And that just helps to give me sort of reassurance and extra support so that nothing will give way under stress. But it seems to me like these two supports alone might be enough to do this. I may not need one here or one at the front either. Seems like we're almost there, and I'm just trying to see if I can pop this back panel back into place before I raise it any further. Well, that looks pretty good to me. It's a certain improvement anyway. It's never going to look brand new with those holes in the back. There's still the issue of getting this panel in on this side, but it's not a major issue really. If I put one more block on here, maybe that would help it. But I think that's pretty flat. It's hard to tell who's going to help with these pipes in the way, but it's a definite improvement, that's for sure. I was trading, I found someone put some sandpaper on the back here. For what reason, I'm not quite sure. But it definitely wasn't me. I think I'll call it there and say that's about as good as we're going to get. It's very, very slightly convex now in the centre, but that's better than being, um, it's better than having everything slide towards the back of the unit. Underneath, you can see I've gone for one on each side. 
and two down the center for extra support. I hope you found this video useful and if you have then please give me a thumbs up and click on the like button. Please also subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you again sometime soon. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I thought it might be interesting to see what's hidden elsewhere in this kitchen. Uh, what we have here is a live wire. It's kind of concerning. If you are missing a white trainer, do please leave a comment in the section below.